Stray was originally launched in 2022 for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. It later saw a release on PC through the Epic Game Store, then a year later on Steam. Developed by Blue 12 Studio, Stray is the type of game that makes the argument that, just like paintings or novels or movies, video games can absolutely be works of art. Although the game's length of only 5-6 to six hours and its limited replayability may make you want to pick it up on sale, Stray is absolutely a game that everyone should enjoy at least once. Stray has a simple premise, but an incredibly interesting and unique setting. It takes place centuries into the future where Earth has been rendered uninhabitable for a long period of time from an unknown disaster. Humanity constructed a gigantic domed city that is sealed off from the outside world. In this futuristic bomb shelter like structure, they had multiple tiers that segregated the poorer people from the wealthy. Robots were developed to assist with labor, called companions by the humans. When this game takes place, it's been hundreds of years since this domed city has been constructed and is seemingly abandoned by humanity, leaving only the robots behind. It's been so long that humans are kind of like a myth at this point, a relic of a bygone era, and no one can really recall what happened to them. Stray begins with the player controlling a cat, one of four that live outside the domed city. The world is deserted, plants have overgrown everything, metal objects are rusted, and it's clear that no one has been around for a very long time aside from this colony of cats, some birds, and a lot of insects. One day, while going on a walk with its family, the stray cat walks on a loose pipe and falls into a chasm far below. It wakes up inside the city and begins its search for a way out. It spots signs guiding it along the way, directing it to this strange pod with wires running to a robot. Following a set of mysterious directions, the cat reconnects this pod, and a transfer begins. There, you gain a new companion, B12. He can translate things that the robots say, along with words on the walls and signs. He's missing a lot of his memory. He does know that he used to assist the scientists in their work, but he can't remember much else except that humans are long dead. With your new companion, Stray makes his way through the slums where they encounter the Zerks, small insect-like creatures that have evolved from a bacteria the humans used to eat their trash. These Zerks will devour everything in sight, including both cats and robots. As you run away, Stray finds a small colony of robots at the bottom of this elevator that leads to the wealthy section of town. The elevator has long been disabled, and it's up to Stray to get it working again. That's the setup for the story in a nutshell. Stray is trying to find a way to get home, while the robots are trying to unseal the city and escape. Like I said, it's a simple premise. The lore and the setting is amazingly fleshed out. You are invested in not only seeing the small kitty cat get home, but helping the robots escape and solving the mystery of the missing humans. I absolutely adored this game, and I encourage you to pick it up and solve the mysteries within for yourself. For gameplay, you obviously play as a cat. Stray doesn't have any fancy powers or the ability to shoot guns or anything like that. He or she is a cat. 
You can run, you can walk, you jump on objects, you can boop things with your nose or paws to knock it over, you hide in boxes to escape from enemies, you can push barrels by walking inside of them. There are a lot of puzzles to solve and the game never descended into frustration. If there was a switch to push, it was generally easy to find. The puzzles and gameplay mechanics were never unfair throughout the entire game. There's a lot of verticality to stray, with climbing up or down objects being a major part of finding your way forward. The game is fairly linear, and there are a few open sections that allow you to explore with B12 guiding you with hints if you want them to. Along with providing translation services, B12 will hack doors or shine a light with the push of a button. He does get an upgrade eventually that can destroy the Zerks in a harrowing gameplay section that almost descends into survival horror. Overall, Stray is a very simple game, but what gameplay it does have, it does very well. Sneaking through places, climbing, running away from enemies, everything felt and played really good, and I was engaged throughout my entire 5-6 to six hour playthrough. But as I said before, replayability can be an issue. There are B12's memories to collect, and if you miss them, you may want to replay the game to find them. But this is a kind of one-off game where you're going to play it once, and that's pretty much it. For graphics and technicals, Stray looks incredible. The models of both Stray and the robots are well done, the environments are very detailed, and the graphics are top tier. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game and it makes use of that power in a very good way. There wasn't any graphical slowdowns or FPS drops, a great thing to highlight since a lot of Unreal Engine 5 games can suffer from stuttering on console. Everything looks great, it sounded great, it plays great. I mean, just look at these images playing right now and tell me that Stray doesn't look fantastic. But it isn't just the graphics, it's the art design that's really stellar here. The world looks and feels old and creepy and abandoned. The section with the Zerks are alien and unnerving. The robots are mostly rusted and look like they have been scraping by for far too long. Then, when you finally reach the wealthy section, the disparity hits you in the face. Consumerism is blatant. The robots are wearing better clothing and there's less rust on everything. You can trace a clear divide just by looking at the screen between the slums and the upper levels. It also makes use of a cyberpunk aesthetic, especially in the clothing they wear and the use of neon lighting. But one of the biggest comparisons I could make was with Blade Runner. It's clear the developers used the city from Blade Runner as a bit of a template, as everything had this rainy, urban feel to it. I could gush about the look and story of Stray all day long, but I want to keep this review short in order to not spoil the experience for you if you do choose to check this game out. So here is a list of pros and cons for Stray. For the pros, the story may have a simple premise, but it will have a lasting impact on you. The lore is deep and incredibly interesting. I just wanted to learn so much more about this world that I do hope they make a sequel. For a game where you play as a cat, there are a lot of interesting puzzles and gameplay mechanics at work here. Stray was never unfairly difficult, but it isn't a walking simulator either. It ran really well on PlayStation 5. It's also one of the best looking games you can play on console right now. But there are a few cons. It's pretty short, clocking in at 5 to 6 hours depending on how much you explore and if you get stuck on any puzzles along the way. 
You're either in or out on the premise. You're a cat trying to find its way home. It's not for everybody, even though I wish everyone would play it. There isn't a lot of replayability once you beat it. For $30 US or $40 Canadian, that might be a bit of a deal breaker. And that's it for another review. I absolutely adored this game to bits, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. I hope this review convinces you to check it out. And if the price is an issue, it does go on sale through Steam, the Epic Games Store, and the PlayStation Store at times, so keep an eye out. I'm the Casual Console Gamer. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next review.